Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to American Meditation Center. What you are going to see is the number 75 Shiva Sutra. It is the Ujjas Vijnana Bhairava Tantra Meditation Techniques. The meditation technique today is waking, sleeping, dreaming, know you as light. Waking, sleeping, dreaming, know you as light. So this meditation is an important meditation, very important technique. Understanding who you are, what you are and what exactly the miracle of life is all about. Waking, sleeping, dreaming, know you as light. Waking, dreaming and sleeping, know you as light. First waking. So, in Yoga and Tantra, man's mind is divided into three divisions. In Yoga and Tantra, the mind is divided in three functions or three categories. What are the functions of the mind? The far mind in the daytime, morning to night, he is in a wakeful state. So he does all the activities through his mind. And in the night he goes for sleeping. So the mind is in a sleeping state. Then the mind in the third state is the dreaming state. He dreams. So waking, waking state, dreaming state and sleeping state. These are the three main functions of the mind. So, body is different, mind is different. Physical body, this body is born, it lives and it dies. The mind is there inside. The mind, the functions of the mind is in the waking state. He is fully awakened. He knows what is going on and he does his actions in the daytime. And in the sleep, he dreams. The mind functions as a dreamer. And in sleep, he is deep in the sleep. That is his biological needs, the physical needs, the body takes rest. So these are the three divisions. So when you take the world as Eastern and Western, Eastern countries are India, China and Western countries are America and European countries. So now in Eastern countries, this waking, sleeping and dreaming, it is important for them. For western countries also, this waking, sleeping and dreaming is important for them. But only here in eastern countries, they want to transcend from waking state. They want to come out of sleeping state. They want to come out of dreaming state and find out what the soul is all about. So it is like a waking cloud, sleeping cloud and dreaming cloud which passes through the sky. And what is the sky is all about? That is what Eastern people are very much interested. Western peoples are very much interested nowadays in dreaming state. The two after Freud has come. So he has done a lot of experiments on dreaming state. So here for sleeping, what do the mind, what does the mind do, does in the sleeping state? What is the functions of the mind? Everybody are not very much interested to know, but nobody are, are able to, uh, no one is able to un find out the answer. There are a lot of sleep laboratories. Sleeping is a very important state of mind, the functions of mind. In the sleeping state, what happens? In the sleeping state, he is, goes into a deep sleep, but what is, the, what is the function of the mind there? It is a lot of research is being done because sleeping is the most important in a person's life. You cannot avoid sleeping because it takes almost if you live for 60 years, 20 years you are in the waking stage, 20 years you are in the dreaming stage and 20 years you are in the sleeping state. So sleeping takes one third of your life. So in the sleeping state what happens? Is the waking, dreaming and sleeping all are the same? Is man is the same as he is in the waking state and dreaming and sleeping? Or is he a different person? This is a very important meditation technique where 
you go in for waking state, then you come to dreaming, then you come for sleeping. So, here it is quite a difficult task to pass through all these three things, but with meditation you can do. Can you dream? See in the waking state what a person does morning to night, if you are an Indian, you have to follow Indian rules and regulations. If you are a Hindu, you have to follow the rules and regulations of Indian customs and all those things. And if you are a Christian, you have to follow certain rules. A Mohammedan in Arabian countries, he has to follow certain things. So, the mind is conditioned to do certain things. He cannot fulfill all his desires. He has to suppress his desires and act according to the society's needs in the daytime or in the waking state. He cannot do whatever he likes. In one country, they may have a different uh, way of life which is prescribed and which is told that citizen should follow. In some other country, they have different type of uh, way of life. One country's way of life cannot be applicable to other country. One way of life of a Christian cannot be applicable for one Hindu in one other country, a Buddhist in one other country. Some meat, some countries, uh, some cultures recommend eating non-vegetarian, some cultures strictly say that everybody should eat vegetarian. In some countries like Gulf countries, you have severe punishment, capital punishment or killing, but in certain countries, you have certain laws through that the law process takes a slow process. So, this is called culture. When the society prescribes certain rules, people follow. In the wakeful state, he cannot do whatever he likes. He has to act according to the society. So, in a waking state, you cannot say what a person's character is, what a person he is. So, here in the waking state, you cannot judge a person. In sleeping state, can you judge a person? Only in his dreaming state, you can judge what type of a person he is. In a country like India, in the dreaming state, what a person dreams, by that people will be able to understand what type of personality that person is, who he is. So, dreaming is very important uh, and in sleeping state, when you uh, when you try to ask a person in sleeping state, he won't be able to tell his name. He won't be able to tell what religion he belongs to or what nationality he belongs to. In sleeping state, he forgets everything. He is in the deep sleep. So, only in the dreaming state, through his dreams, we can understand what person he is. But can we penetrate into his dreams? It is not possible, isn't it? So, what a dream is and how to penetrate it? So, three states are there, waking state, dreaming state and sleeping state. Now, let us start with the waking, waking cloud or waking state. So, a person, he gets up in the morning, he awakens, he is wakeful and he, is, he just walks, he does things, everything. So, can you transcend from waking state to dreaming state and dreaming to sleeping? but all you should be a witness to all these three things. So, in the waking state what you have to do is, can you create a dream? Is it possible? Man, it is not possible to create his own dreams, but through this meditation technique, you can create your own dreams. How could you create your own dreams? The first state is, in the waking state, you should think yourself that you are a fire, you are a light. So, from morning to night, wherever you go, whatever you do, think that a light is walking, a light is eating, a light is talking. You think yourself as a light. As you keep on thinking yourself as a light, do not tell to others that you are imagining yourself as a light. As you keep on thinking as a light, slowly there happens a transformation in you. People were able to understand something you are different and they ask you what happened to you, you look so nice, so good and I feel so warm to be with you. So, the persons who will me, who meet you or who meets you, they can understand there is some transformation has happened to you. Once you are able to 
uh, once they are able to tell you that some transformation has happened to you, then you can go in for the next state called dreaming state. In the dreaming state what happens? You sleep and when you are going for sleep dreams come. So, when you think that in the daytime in the waking state you are thinking yourself as a light, think always about light, light, light when you are sleeping, then the dream slowly disappears, dreams started disappearing and only light is there. As you think only about the light, then you go in for a sleep, that sleep is a deep sleep. As you in the waking state you think yourself as a light, in the dreaming state you think yourself as a light and in the dreams only you feel light and nothing else and in the sleeping state also you feel there is a light. Now, you are able to witness the waking state, dreaming state and sleeping state. In all these three states you find the light alone. Is it an imagination light? No, light is not an imagination. Through imagination, imagining that you are a light, you have uncovered a reality. What is the reality? This body is light, this is condensed of light. As you burn the body, the body burns and light comes out. As the scientists have said, this power body is made of all electrons and everything. So, as the, you feel yourself as the light, that is the waking state, when others say that there is some transformation in you, then you can go in for a dreaming state. As you dream yourself as a light, 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 no dreams will come and you are able to change yourself as a light. Then you go into a deep sleep, then once again you go in for the waking state. So, this is something like you are a passenger, first you go in for waking state, then next station comes, you go in for dreaming state, then next station comes, you go in for sleeping state, then once again the station comes, you come for the waking state. And who is that you? That you is the soul, that you is the consciousness, that you is the atma. You are able to witness and identify three states and you will be able to understand the mind is different and you are different. You are the soul, you are the atma, you are the power. The body sleeps, the body takes rest, but your soul does not need to take rest. The body is born, the body is born young, the body lives, it becomes old, it needs rest, it needs fuel, but your consciousness does not need, your soul does not need fuel. So, the body takes rest, but you are not able to take rest. That is what in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, yogis never sleep. You become a witness for your body sleeping. You become a witness when you walk in the street. You become a, in the wakeful state and there is no dreams at all. So, that third, that stage when you are able to understand that you are different and mind is different, then this is the success of the meditation. So, what you have to do is transcend these three stages. One stage, the wakefulness stage where you think yourself as a light and when you think yourself as a light and sleep, the dreams disappears. Then you sleep, in the deep sleep you are able to understand the body only sleeps because the soul does not sleep. The soul is reborn once again and again. The bo uh, re uh, I mean the body is reborn again and again, but the soul is always there. The soul is the divine and once you understand you are the divine and the body is something different and the mind is different, then when you differentiate into three body, mind and soul, there this meditation becomes successful and you are able to understand the divinity in you, the soul in you and your life transforms and your life differs of what you were thinking before. So, in this meditation 75, waking, dreaming, sleeping, feel the light. First you have to feel the light and others should say that there is some transformation in you, some changes in you. Then you go in for dreaming state, then you go in for sleeping state. You become a witness, you is different, that you is called consciousness, you is called the soul, you is called the atma. Once you are able to understand, this is the success for this meditation.